The Museum of Decorative Arts in Frankfurt am Main, Germany, was completed in 1985 by American architect Richard Meyer and design partner Michael Palladino. According to Meyer, the museum's design borrows heavily from its surroundings, not only in terms of topography, but also in the respect of the local Doppel Villa topography. The Museum of Decorative Arts was designed as part of a new cultural district near the main river. Meyer, in building the museum, wanted to reject a notion that a building should stand on its own, a methodology which he believes modernism has distorted. His design was meant to connect, respond, enlarge, and reinforce the public context and the urban fabric. Through a subtle yet powerful rotation of the museum by 3.5 degrees, again corresponding to the local site, Meyer created a counterclockwise path through the museum, outlining the history of European decorative art. Although almost imperceptible to the untrained eye, this slightest of shifts can be seen clearly in plan. The subtlety of the shift allowed Meyer to play with room shapes that would otherwise have seemed arbitrary. The museum relies heavily on the adjacent Villa Metzler. As reference, the villa's facade's grid became the organizing element behind the Museum of Decorative Arts. Said grid vertically organizes the facade of Meyer's edition and provides a pattern for his defining white siding. Critics of Meyer's Museum of Decorative Arts maintain that the connection between the adjacent villa and Meyer's edition is blurred, with the only tangible connection coming in the form of a walkway that sticks so forcefully into the villa's back that it robs it of its autonomy. Critics also cite that the Museum of Decorative Arts is so effectively built and so takes away the villa's autonomy that it alone is enough to stand by itself, almost making the villa obsolete.